Top 15 Wrestlers Who Left Us in 2017 If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 15 15. Outlaw Ron Bass. Outlaw Ron Bass made his debut in the wrestling business back in 1971 in NWA which was where he first paired up with Barry Windham and Black Bart. Ron made his way over to WWE in 1987 in a time where the company was taken over by the likes of Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake. One of his most memorable matches would have come back in 1988, when he qualified for the King of the Ring tournament, when he was able to defeat a young Shawn Michaels. He was released from WWE back in 1989, after falling down the ranks, when newer and fresher faces started joining the company, but it was another two years before Ron officially hung up his wrestling boots. It was revealed that Bass was rushed to the hospital back in March 2017 after his appendix burst, but he passed away shortly afterwards after a number of complications with his surgery. He was just 68 years old. 14. Fourteen. Goldberg. Given the fact that Goldberg was able to return to the ring after more than 12 years back in 2016, it would be hard to officially state that Goldberg has actually retired. The former WCW legend returned to WWE as a way to promote WWE 2K17 ahead of its release in November 2016. This then led to his spot in the 2017 Royal Rumble, a Universal Championship win at Fastlane, and a huge rematch against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 33. It seems that following his defeat to Brock Lesnar, Goldberg has officially hung up his wrestling boots once again, but it is unknown how long this will be for this time. The former champion has already begun hinting that he would be open to another return to WWE in the future, but it is unlikely that WWE would be able to put together a similar storyline for the former WCW star any time in the near future. 13. 13. Jimmy Snuka. Jimmy the Superfly Snuka was a WWE Hall of Famer and is the father of current SmackDown star Tamina Snuka. Snuka was a legend to many wrestling fans, but it made headlines all over the world ahead of his passing after it was decided that he was unfit to stand trial for the homage of his ex-girlfriend Nancy Argentino. Snuka was struggling with cancer and lost his battle back in January, while WWE was still recording the United Kingdom tournament and announced his passing as part of the show. WWE also paid tribute to the former superstar despite it seemingly being in bad taste since Snuka was wrapped up in a trial, and the only suspect in the investigation merely weeks before his passing. His daughter Tamina has since returned to WWE since her father's passing, but has dropped the Snuka name, and instead is now known as just Tamina. 12. 12. Bubba Ray Dudley. Bubba Ray Dudley is a tag team legend in WWE, after winning nine tag team championships in his career alongside Devon Dudley as well as successfully being seen as a singles competitor in Impact Wrestling. He has also been known for his work in ECW, and most recently for Ring of Honor. Bubba Ray officially announced earlier this month at an independent event that he was retiring from wrestling full-time after a number of injuries he had sustained over the past few years had finally begun to affect his career and catch up with him. Bubba Ray himself has stated that he doesn't really care that much about being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, but as a tag team legend and one half of the Dudley Boys, he should definitely be seen as someone who should have a place in amongst the elite of wrestling in the future. 11. 11. 
George the Animal Steel George the Animal Steel was a superstar that was obviously built for this business. He had a presence in the ring that towered above all others and allowed him to be accepted into the hearts of wrestling fans around the world. The most memorable feud of Steele's career came back in 1985, when he was put up against Macho Man Randy Savage, and the two battled over Miss Elizabeth. Steele left the business the following year, and his health took a nosedive when it was revealed that he had been diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Steele had been ill for a number of months prior to his passing back in February 2017, but it was revealed that the cause was kidney failure. He will always be remembered as the big man who had a heart of gold. Despite his tough exterior, George was known as the friendliest and most approachable superstar of his generation. 10. 10. Eva Marie. Technically in order to retire from the wrestling business, you have to be considered a legitimate wrestler, something that Eva Marie was never actually seen as. The winner of the 2013 Diva Search was thrown in at the deep end in WWE, and after becoming a main star of Total Divas she decided to try her hand at wrestling, something that didn't exactly come naturally to her. Eva drew heat like no other superstar had ever done before her, but it wasn't enough for her to want to continue pursuing a career in the squared circle. And after she was suspended from WWE back in August 2016 for violating the wellness policy, she never returned. Eva was officially released from the company in the summer of 2017, when it was made clear that Eva was happy moving on to an acting career that her stint in WWE had allowed her to enjoy. 9. 9. Nicole Bass Nicole Bass was a woman that was ahead of her time when it came to the wrestling business. She was a well-known bodybuilder for a number of years before she first came to WWE, and her physique turned a few heads, much like China's had before her. Bass was used in the same way as China, and debuted as a bodyguard disabled back at WrestleMania 15. While China broke down doors and won a number of championships during her time in WWE, Bass was unable to reach the same level with her in-ring ability, not up to par with the other women on the roster at that time. Bass walked away from the company back in 2000 amidst reports that she was assaulted backstage by Steve Lombardi. She later dropped her lawsuit against him in 2003. Bass was hospitalized following a stroke, and she passed away the following day at the age of 52. 8. 8. Rosa Mendes. Rosa Mendes is a female wrestler who was part of the company for more than a decade, after coming in through the annual Diva Search, but was never really given a chance to make an impact. Rosa became more well known to the WWE Universe as part of Total Divas than she ever did when she was wrestling. Rosa announced her pregnancy back in 2015, and gave birth to her daughter Jordan back in February 2016. Despite not being on WWE TV for more than two years, and not being seen on Total Divas since the birth of her daughter, Rosa felt the need to officially announce her retirement from WWE back in February 2017 on her daughter's first birthday. Rosa's retirement is one that has been completely overlooked by many wrestling fans, but for someone who was part of the women's division for more than 10 years, her official departure deserves to be recognized. 7. 7. Chavo Guerrero Sr. The Guerrero family has definitely left their mark on WWE over the past few decades, but while the current generation will remember Eddie and Chavo Guerrero from their stints in WWE, Eddie's brother Chavo Guerrero Sr. made a name for himself in Awa, before making his way to WCW as Chavo Classic. Chavo will also be remembered as the oldest cruiserweight champion in history, after he was able to defeat his son in Spike Dudley back in 2004. Chavo was still in the spotlight back in 2016, when he made an appearance in Lucha Underground alongside Rey Mysterio and his son, but it was revealed in early 2017, that he was battling liver cancer. Chavo was moved to a hospice as his health began to deteriorate, 
before he sadly passed away on the 11th of February at just 68 years old. Wrestling was Chavo's life, and if he could, he would have wrestled right up to the end. 6. 6. Mark Henry. Many of the WWE Universe are still completely unaware that the world's strongest man Mark Henry walked away from WWE back in 2017 since the company didn't decide to give the former world champion the send-off he deserved. Instead, Henry quietly left the company following WrestleMania 33, and now works for WWE behind the scenes as a producer. Henry was part of some memorable storylines, and feats of strength throughout his time in WWE, and definitely deserved a much better send-off than he was given. It is unknown, if the fact, that WWE already played on the retirement angle with Henry following his fake speech to John Cena a few years ago was the reason, why Henry was able to sneak away from the company back in April but either way, Henry's final wrestling match is now behind him, and rather than going out with a bang he went out with a whisper. 5. 5. Smith Hart Smith Hart was the eldest son of legendary wrestling promoter Stu Hart Hart, and the brother of standout WWE stars Owen and Brett. Smith wasn't known to be on the same level as his brothers, but much like many members of the Hart family, Smith was also a wrestler and made occasional appearances on WWE TV, where he was always seen as the protector of his family members who worked for the company at that time. Smith's biggest moment on WWE TV perhaps came back at WrestleMania 26, when he saved his younger brother Brett during his feud with Vince McMahon. Smith was always outspoken when it came to the wrestling world, and would often share his thoughts regarding WWE programming on his Twitter page. Smith was diagnosed with brain and bone cancer back in 2016, but the disease later became terminal, and Smith was taken into a hospice, where he passed away in July 2017 at the age of 68. 4. 4. Candice Michelle. Candice Michelle is a former women's champion in WWE, and someone who was released from the company back in 2009. Over the past eight years, Candace has become a wife and a mother to three daughters, and looked after her new family full-time, while never actually announcing her retirement from professional wrestling. Back in October 2017, Candace announced that her final match would take place on December 2nd at House of Hardcore's Blizzard Brawl event. At the show, she took on one of her best friends and biggest rivals, former women's champion Victoria in her hometown. Candice won the match before the two women embraced in the ring afterwards. This was Candice's first match in almost eight years and her final one, that she will ever be part of. This was Candice's way of finally hanging up her wrestling boots for good, and now focusing on her life as a mother. 3. 3. Matt Rosie and Oe. Matt Inouye was known as Superhero Rosie throughout his time in WWE, but he was perhaps best known as Roman Reigns' older brother. Coming from the famous Inouye wrestling family meant that there was only ever one career path for the Sam and Star who is best remembered for being part of 3-Minute Warning alongside Eddie Fadu, who was later known as Umaga. Rosie later went on to become Hurricane Helms' sidekick, before he was released from WWE back in 2006 around the time that his former three-minute warning teammate returned to WWE as Umaga. The wrestling world was saddened by the passing of Matt back in April 2017, something that was highlighted by his brother Roman who wrote an emotional message following Rosie's passing. It was revealed that the official cause was congestive heart failure, and he passed away just 10 days after he celebrated his 47th birthday. 2. 2. Gail Kim. Gail Kim is considered to be one of the best female wrestlers in the history of Impact Wrestling. She is the only female to ever be inducted into the TNA Hall of Fame and is a former Knockouts Champion as well as a former WWE Women's Champion. 
Kim La FWWE after it was revealed that the company would never push her towards the main event picture because of her looks rather than her ability and then instead decided to make a name for herself in Impact Wrestling the company where she recently announced her retirement. Somehow the former champion was able to have a successful stint following surgery, but at 40 years old, Kim has decided that the time is now right for her to finally hang up those wrestling boots for good. Much like Trish Stratus back in WWE in 2006, Kim relinquished the Knockouts Championship earlier this year and announced that she was retiring from the company. 1. 1. Bobby Heenan. There was a reason why Bobby Heenan was known as the brain. He was widely considered to be one of the greatest wrestling managers of all time, as well as a fantastic commentator. Heenan always knew how to talk, and he knew what it took to be a great manager after being paired with the likes of Jesse Ventura and Andre the Giant in his early years. It was only after a neck injury that Heenan decided to take the move over to the announce table, before he left the wrestling business back in 2000 before being diagnosed with throat cancer in 2002. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2004 before surgery on his jaw, left him without one of his best assets, as he was left struggling to speak. Heenan passed away back in September 2017 as a result of organ failure that was brought on after he had struggled with a number of illnesses dating back to his diagnosis with cancer back in 2002. Yeah.